name is Steve Rodway. I'm an application engineer here at Electromatic Products. We are a Siemens distributor located in Farmington Hills, Michigan. The intent for this video is to quickly introduce the topic of VB scripting inside of a Siemens comfort panel. In this example, we are using a customized VB function to control the animation of a simulated car wash, which is being displayed on the HMI. The operation of our simulated car wash will be controlled by a simple PLC program. You will need basic working knowledge of the TIA portal environment, including Step 7 and WinCC. We will briefly cover the HMI screen development, the PLC project, and the VB script. Before we get started, I'd like to mention that Siemens does provide excellent resources, both in the help file of TIA portal and on the Siemens Industrial Online Support website, which is also known as SIOS. A link to this website will be included in the description below along with other useful links. Let's first take a look at our simulated application. Here we have our simulated comfort panel. We also have a simulated PLC running in the background, which is running our project. When we go ahead and press start on our panel, we initiate the conveyor and the automobile starts to move down the line. It'll pass by the first prox, which initiates the soaping cycle, the second prox, which initiates the brushing cycle, the third prox, the rinse cycle, and then finally the fourth prox, the drying cycle. When the automobile reaches the end of the line, it will reset itself to the front based on our VB script. Let's now take a look at our project. Let's first take a look at our PLC project. Here we have our PLC tags being displayed. Just as you will in the real world, we have inputs which are being used to control our application. These inputs are a start and stop button, which are being displayed on the HMI, and proximity sensors, which are being simulated in our HMI. We also have our outputs for the operation of the application. These two are being simulated in the HMI. We've now got the program blocks of our PLC pulled up. We can see that we are just making use of the main OB as we've got a rather simple five network program. Here in the first network is our start and stop circuit. Our second network, our soap cycle. Our third network, the brusher cycle. Our fourth network, the rinse cycle. And finally, our fifth network, the dryer cycle. Moving back up to the first network, we'll want to take note of the M0 conveyor bit. It is this bit which we'll call our VB function. Let's take a look at how that's accomplished. Here we've got our HMI tag table pulled up. I'd like to first point out the first four tags here are our process tags, which will be used to control the animation of the objects on our HMI. Those are each of our brushers, our conveyor, and our dryer. We've also got the M0 conveyor tag, which is tied to the M0 conveyor tag of the PLC. And as mentioned before, it is this tag which will be used to call our VB function. If we go ahead and select that, that tag, select its properties and events, we can see that we have one event option here which will allow for us to call that function. In this case, our VB function named animate. Value change implies that when the bit changes, regardless from high to low or low to high, this function will be called. Because we want to try to simulate the real world, we would really like to only see that called when it goes high. We can do so by setting a parameter inside of our function. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here we have our script editor window open. To get here, we drill into the HMI project, scripts, VB scripts, and ultimately we have entered our script named animate. Just taking a quick look here at the script, we can see that we've indicated the name for the script. We've declared some variables 
and a start value. And specifically, these variables here in the start value are in reference to a timer, if you, if you will, which is just a simple iteration here, which controls effectively the speed of the animation of our project. Furthermore, the brunt of the script is contained within a do while loop. And as indicated before, we really only want the animation of the conveyor to exist when the conveyor bit is high. So one of our conditions is just that, stating that when that conveyor bit is high, we'll go ahead and run this loop. We've also got a, another condition which needs to exist. And this condition is in reference to where the automobile resides on the conveyor. So long as it's less than 1000, a sort of arbitrary value, defining a space on our HMI, and the M0 conveyor bit is on, we'll go ahead and run our loop. Moving through our script, we see our conveyor animate bit here, and there's another simple iteration there. So we'll continue to add one as we continue to move our automobile down the conveyor. As it goes down its line, We'll just simply define spaces within the HMI, at which point different proximity sensors will be turned on. And then we'll go ahead and define our animation of our brush or motion. Our dryer animation. And effectively, that is our script. And once it's completed its cycle, we just go ahead and reset the position of the automobile with this if-then statement. OK, let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics and objects on our HMI. Uh, the first to look at is the automobile, and it is the automobile and the motion of the automobile, which gives us the illusion of a running conveyor. So if we were to go ahead and select that object on the HMI screen in the editor window here, we can go ahead and select animations for that. And we see that we've already defined a horizontal movement uh, so that the automobile may move along the X axes of the HMI, thus giving us the illusion of a running conveyor. The associated tag is the conveyor animate which was uh, one of the two tags involved in the uh, do while loop of our VB script. And that if you recall, that had stated so long as that tag is less than 1000, we'll go ahead and run that loop. So uh, there is an iteration uh, as per the script, uh, which will, when run, go ahead and just iterate this vehicle along its X axes until it's reached its end, uh, X position 1000, at which point the script uh, had called for a reset. So as the automobile moves down the line, uh, we've got different functions that are going to exist. Uh, so, you know, for example, we will pass through the first prox, which will initiate our soaping cycle. So to uh, demonstrate that on the HMI, what we have done is we had created a flashing alternating from the, uh, the off position white to blue, uh, which implied that that, uh, that, that cycle was, was, was operating. So, uh, you know, again, in the PLC program, the, uh, the proc sensor when turned on will then trigger uh, that soap cycle. And that, uh, that animation is effectively just done up here. We've got a series of lines uh, so hence line one, two, and three. And what we're doing is we're changing the, the display of those lines, uh, as we can see uh, going from white to, to the uh, blue there. Uh, the same holds true for the rinse cycle. It's uh, effectively the same operation uh, repeated in the HMI. Uh, it's just that's tied to the uh, third prox. Then we've got two process tags uh, which exist, and that's for our brusher animation and for our dryer animation. And uh, the animation that we pull from this is just the changing of uh, an image. So if we were to take a look at that, uh, we go to its animations and we go to its tag connections. 
we see that there's a process value uh, that's associated with this and you know a specific tag um, each respectively. We got our dryer animates and our brusher animate. And what we want to reference then when looking at that is our text and graphics lists. Uh, we'll go to the graphics lists. And we've got our brusher and our dryer, and we see that we've got uh, a couple of different graphics here that get cycled through uh, its operation while the uh, while that function is on. Uh, so here, the same for the brusher. <clears throat> so that is pretty much it uh, in a quick nutshell here. Uh, I hope that uh, the video offers you some insight uh, on your movement forward, and please uh, feel free to check back for new videos and uh, feel free to comment with any questions. Thank you so much.